Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. Today we are going to do the post-match analysis of Real Madrid vs Real Valladolid, and I honestly don't know where to start. Frankly speaking, it was a poor performance. I think there is no doubt about it. But when you have your goalkeeper winning the man of the match and he continues to bail you out again and again, that speaks volumes about a team and it is something very alarming. Now going into the match, we were first left fuming by the news that Real Madrid were going to have Eden Hazard on the sideline for another month and that was very disturbing news. I, just like most of you, was looking forward to seeing Hazard return in this match after Real Madrid had named him in the squad and all our expectations and excitement had gone down the drain even before our players stepped on the pitch. But I must say here, I was pleasantly surprised by the inclusion of Luka Jovic in the match. It was good to see that Zidane had given Jovic another chance to prove himself and on another day, Jovic so easily could have had a hat-trick. He had three solid chances, two in the first half, but he came closest to scoring in the second half. The cross was made and Jovic got his head to it. He directed the header towards the bottom corner, got sufficient amount of power behind it, only to be denied by the wide lead keeper, who made a superb save and then Casemiro on the rebound came very close to scoring the first goal of the match. But coming back to Jovic, today I think it was a much better performance from Jovic when it comes to getting involved in the game, his movement was better, the first two chances that he had, one coming off the cross from Valverde early in the match and the other chance coming after a good link-up play with Marcelo on the left, both the chances were off target and had he scored from one of those chances, that would have done great amount of good to his confidence level and you could see his confidence level in the shots that he was taking. He was a bit hesitant in having a clean swipe at the ball and had he scored one, it could have been a turning point for him. He could not take the chances and the chances are running out for Jovic to justify his inclusion in the starting lineup. It was better from Jovic and it was a great chance to assert himself but again it was another missed opportunity. Now coming to the first half, I think you all will agree it was just a lacklustre performance. The intensity was so low, the passing was not fluid and the movement wasn't there and you would expect better from Real Madrid playing their third La Liga match. The first game that they drew against Sociedad was acceptable, the players were apparently not up to speed and Sociedad generally are a tough team to beat. In the game against Betis, Real were better with goals and chances creation and in this game, you would expect the players to be fit, to be up to speed and put a great display, that too at our own home ground. I am sorry to say, but this time Real Madrid deserve criticism. How long are we going to hide behind the same excuse that, oh, we didn't have a pre-season, okay, we will do well in the next match, how long will this continue? Now coming to the match, we went into halftime nil-nil, it just wasn't happening for Real, I think Isco had a poor game in the middle and then we saw him getting subbed off as well in the second half. The changes that Zidane made were effective as we saw Vinicius and Asensio brought more pace to the wings. Carvajal was also subbed in for Odizola. These three changes up the tempo but have a look at the goal that Vinicius scored. Don't get me wrong here, it was a brilliant finish from Vinicius and Vinicius played a very good cameo of the bench but we scored just one goal and and that too, it wasn't like it was a result of some slick passing. We can say that the defenders of Valladolid were largely at fault, the build-up was crappy and had the defender made a proper clearance, the story could have been different altogether. I feel bad to see Real Madrid play like this. There was a time when Real Madrid used to score 5 goals, 6 goals, 7 goals. Gracious God, I have even seen Real Madrid scoring 10 goals in a match. And now the situation is so different. We labour through matches. Okay, labouring against good teams is still acceptable, but labouring against a team that is having nowhere near the quality of players that we have, and that too for the third match in a row, is not acceptable. Oh, where is the swagger? Oh, where is the style? I can write a poem right now, but coming back. Now, if you are a supporter of pragmatic style of football, if you look around, all pragmatic teams are found out by well-drilled attacking sides at some point of time or the other. You take a look at Barca under their former manager Valverde. You have a look at Atletico. Pragmatic style can be used in some matches to attain good results, but every game, it can't be the same story. We are Real Madrid. We are beating all oppositions, even the teams that fight relegation battles by a bare minimum. Sometimes we are lucky that some decisions go in our favour and sometimes it's Thibaut Courtois who bails us out. Last season and this season, Courtois has been immense. He has rescued us so many times, had it not been for him, we could have had been in a very bad position. But as I said earlier, it's not good for any team that your goalkeeper has to make sublime saves in every match and be your most important player. 
I am also not really a fan of the 442 formation. I think the 433 suits us the best. The thing about the 442 is that you can have two quality strikers up front, but your wing play definitely gets compromised. Most of the attacks happen through the center, and it becomes very difficult to break the opposition down at times, especially when you have teams coming to the Bernabeu, or in this case, the Alfredo Di Stefano, who like sitting deep and get bodies behind in defense. We saw things were much better when the wingers came on in the second half, and then they were more expansive were creating more panic near the wide lead penalty area. Coming to Benzema, he was also not on top of his game, not firing on all cylinders. In fact, out of Benzema and Jovic, it was Jovic who was much better, at least he was getting close to scoring. But Benzema was not just good today, and yes, any player can have an off day. But I just want to ask you guys a question. When Benzema does have a bad day, and with the uncertainty regarding Eden Hazard, who is going to score for us coming off the bench if Jovic is also sent out on loan? I am not trying to defend Jovic here, but I think he can be a decent backup in few matches coming off the bench when Benzema is having an off day. And and very importantly, I have to mention this, that it is very important to give Jovic 25 to 30 minutes to see what he can truly do coming off the bench. If he is again subbed on in the 83rd, 84th or the 87th minute, I don't think Jovic will be able to contribute much like the previous season. We can use Jovic well to give Benzema some rest against the teams in the bottom half of the table. The days of Benzema playing 90 minutes every game are gone. And talking about Hazard, I don't want to say anything about him. I was absolutely gutted, just like you all, to hear the news. When we have a look at our team, we have good players, we have a good squad, but there are very few players who can make us get off our seats and make us wonder, oh, how in this blue world did he do that? Hazard is one of those players who is capable of doing that, but we are still waiting for him to show up. We want to see the Chelsea version of Eden Hazard. We are waiting, and at this point, we are all just disappointed. It looks like this time he has picked up a muscular injury, but every time he picks up a knock, the pressure keeps mounting and hopefully he can give us some joyous moments when he returns, most probably in November. So that guys is my reaction to the match. I don't really like criticizing my favorite club and I am sorry if you feel a bit offended about my critical approach to this video today, but after watching Real Madrid for so many years, I want my team to be sublime, bulldozing the opposition and having fun on the pitch and not laboring through matches. I hope Zidane and his men can show us some improvement in the days to come. And if not, then we better buckle up for a long, long season. That is how I feel, guys. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What did you feel about the performance of our players? Vent your frustration down below. I will be bringing more Real Madrid content in the days to come. If you haven't subscribed yet, do consider doing it and joining our community. I will see you soon. Till then, take care. And as always... Hala Madrid. Yeah.